Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is gonna be a test kind of slash tutorial video. We're gonna take a look at field preparation in Farming Simulator 22. So this is something that a lot of people seem to know just a little bit about or a thing or two about. Now there might be some experts out there, but I haven't seen any videos out that I can find or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just dive into it here. So, cause I don't know the answer to a lot of this stuff either. Now I'm not gonna do, I'm gonna explain everything we're gonna do as we're going through here. So um, what are we referring to? What are we talking about here? So a couple things I wanna mention. Uh, we're talking about field preparation. So basically in Farming Simulator, if you're very new to the game, um, you need to prepare the field um, if you're, or you need to use a direct drill seeder. So this field here in front of us is a harvested corn field. Um, so it needs to be prepped for the next plant to go in. So you have an option. You can either use one of these various items out here, which I'll explain in a second, to prepare the field for a seeder or planter, or you can use what's called a direct drill, which if you look in the store, under seeders, for example, we find one in here that actually is a direct drill. Here we go, so this one, this seeder offer, additionally this seeder offers the possibility to seed directly, no previous cultivating or plowing is necessary. So if it says that, and there's one planter in game that does it, and I hear the very end, this guy right here that has that same option on there, then you don't have to, you can skip this step unless you want one of the benefits of this step. And what I mean by that is maybe the field requires plowing. So plowing is something that you can play with it on or off down here in settings. Um, if you have peri periodic plowing turned on, which I do right here, um, you will need to plow after you do corn, sugar beets, potatoes, or sugar cane. Now, if you remember from FS19, you had to plow every three harvests. That's not the case, and I have tested that. I did this field three times with wheat, and it still didn't need plowing, so you don't have to do it every three harvests. Now, it only requires it for those four crop types every time you harvest, So, which I think is a huge, huge, huge step in the right direction for people that like to play with plowing turned on or however that may be. So you don't have to plow um, as often, which is really nice. Um, now, you do get a a yield deficit if you don't complete that plowing state if you have that feature turned on. I believe it's minus 20%. I could be wrong about that. Um, we actually can just double check right here just so I make sure I get out the right information. So um, minus 15% if you don't uh, take care of that. So if you don't take care of the plowing state. Now, if we look at this field here inside the uh, map, it does require plowing here. So I know it shows the whole map in here, but this does require plowing. And if we turn that off, it has no states of fertilizer except for, I guess, a strip up that way. Uh, but we're gonna test a couple of things here when we go through all these different items. So um, we are going to look at what we have here first. We'll talk about that. So I have something, I, I have a plow here. I have a subsoiler here. Then I have a spader here. I have a cultivator here. And then here I have a power harrow. Then I have a shallow cultivator then a disc harrow, then a mulcher. So we're gonna take a look at all these various items. So these are all found in the store here, um, and they all have various speeds. So if we take a look in the store, plows are found under here. Um, their speed is seven miles per hour. They all operate at seven miles per hour. Now there's no mods in the game yet, so we're not talking about mods or anything like that. Uh, subsoilers, if we go down here to subsoilers, subsoilers will run between seven and nine miles an hour. Now they're all seven miles an hour, except for this massive one at the end, which runs at nine. The rest of them run at seven miles an hour. Now the next thing we have on our list is the spader, which is right here. This thing will run at four miles an hour. So that one's the slowest for sure. Um, then the next thing we have on our list is cultivators. Cultivators are found under, where are they at here? Cultivators here. They are going to run at nine miles per hour. Now the next thing we have on our list is um, power harrows after that. So these are all gonna run at seven miles an hour. Then we have shallow cultivators, which are found essentially at the end of cultivators. So we have here shallow cultivator. So cultivator, shallow cultivator. So we're gonna test the difference between those two. They also run at nine miles an hour. Now we know from um, previous FS19, it didn't matter really other than the plowing state, taking care of that is all that really mattered. Um, now we also have disc harrows. These guys are going to run at 11 miles an hour. So these are the fastest option we have essentially. Um, other than the mulcher, which if we go to the mulchers, these are kind of a curveball. They are actually a seven to 11. So we have seven, 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 11, 11 and the one I'm running is at seven here. So the speed doesn't matter necessarily for this test, but that's just to note that. So things we're gonna look at, we're gonna test every one of these. Now we know the plow obviously is gonna take care of the plowing state. And what I mean by that is when we come in here after we run the plow over it, this red portion where the plow goes is gonna be gone. We're gonna test to see if any of these other options will take care of that plowing state. I know a few that are, and this might be something you're like, well, this is obvious. Yeah, it might be, but this will just prove it. So it's just gonna prove the point. So we're gonna make, and I'm gonna show you guys a chart at the very end to kind of demonstrate all this. Then we're gonna see if any of these by cultivating in the stubble add a fertilizer state, because according to um, the, the guide in the menu, um, you can add a 5% uh, 
um, fertilize five percent yield to your crops by mulching the crops using a mulcher. So we'll take a look at that as well. Um, we're also going to take a look and see which ones of these will put stones up or bring stones up. Um, as opposed to not, because we know that if stones are on the field, um, they at a minimum, I haven't tested to see if they affect the crop yield yet, but at a minimum, they are going to help damage your machines a little more. They're going to cause your machines more damage. Um, now, I'm also then going to put together a list of advantages and disadvantages of each after I run the test. And that list of advantages and disadvantages, the two things I'm not going to consider in there, because everyone has their own opinion of this, and I just don't want to get involved in that, is I'm not going to consider the width, the cost, or the speed. I'm not going to consider any of those things. I'm going to be looking at stuff like, oh, an advantage is it gets rid of the plowing state. An advantage is the speed of the machine is a little bit faster or slower. So those are the kind of advantages and disadvantages I'm going to take a look at. So I'm going to go ahead and run this test, and then I will bring you guys back in after I'm done, and we'll talk about it. And we'll also look at the different uh, textures that these guys bring up on this field. So we'll take a look at that here in a second. All right, the test is complete, and I have some interesting results here. Um, so first off, the stones test... I'm going to have to call that one kind of an audible. I didn't prep it the way I should have, and it took me about an hour and a half or two hours to prep this uh, test by getting the field exactly where I wanted, including doing my wheat test. So um, on that note, the stones, I'm just going to tell you what we know from knowledge of the game, not from what this test showed. So I'm still going to explain that. Everything else is from this test, so just be aware of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chart at the very end of the video here so you guys can take a look at that and kind of look at that or we'll talk about that at the very end. Uh, but for now, we're going to go through and look at the textures as well as what we had going on. So first off, the plow. So the plow made this texture here. This is what the plow texture is. Again, we know the plow runs at seven miles an hour. This did take care of the plowing state. So this field no longer needs plowed. It added no fertilizer and um, this will dig up large stones. Now the advantages to the plow well, it takes care of the plowing state. The disadvantage to the plow, it's a little bit slower. Um, the shape is a little bit odd to work with, um, and it does dig up stones. Now, again, I may miss different advantages and disadvantages based on how you guys feel about it, but those are just ones I noticed out of the blue. Next one here is the subsoiler. Um, it does take care of the plowing state, runs at seven miles an hour. It does not add any fertilizer to the ground. It, it does dig up large stones, or has the potential to. Um, it, the advantages are it does take care of the plowing state um, and it has a better shape than the plow. Um, in addition to that, it does uh, run a little bit slower than other utilities and it can dig up stones. Moving on, we have the spader. The spader runs at four miles an hour. Um, this did take care of the plowing state. It did not add any fertilizer. It did dig up large stones or it can dig up large stones. The advantages are it takes care of the plowing state. The disadvantages is it is very, very slow. Four to five miles per hour, very, very slow. And it does, of course, dig up stones. Now we come over here to the cultivator. The cultivator runs at nine miles an hour, does not take care of the plowing state, does not add any fertilizer, and has the potential to dig up small stones like you actually see right there. Um, the big stones, by the way, will look something more like this. Those ones cannot be rolled under. They have to be picked up with a stone picker. So those are the two different types of stones there. Um, in addition, this thing, as far as an advantage goes, it's faster. Uh, disadvantages, it doesn't take care of the plowing state. Really, that's kind of the only one. Um, but past that, that's just kind of how it is. Um, next over here, we have the power harrow. Um, the power harrow runs at seven miles per hour. It does not take care of the plowing state, does not uh, uh, put any fertilizer into the ground. And as far as I can tell, it does not add stones. That could be wrong, though. Again, it's just what I know uh, conceptually from the game. Then I don't have any specific advantages to this. The disadvantages, it does run slower than a regular cultivator. Moving on, we have the uh, shallow cultivator. This one runs at nine miles an hour, does not take care of the plowing state, does not add any fertilizer, does not bring up any stones. Um, this thing will, um, or excuse me, this thing as far as an advantage goes, it will run a little bit faster. Again, nine miles an hour, same as the cultivator. Um, disadvantages, doesn't take care of the plowing state, of course. Moving on, we have the disc harrow, runs at 11 miles an hour, um, does not take care of the plowing state, does not take care of the fertilizing state, and or does not add any fertilizer and does not uh, add any stones. Um, the advantage to this, it is very fast. The disadvantage, weeds will sprout up quicker with this as far as what I've read about it. I haven't tested that, that's what I've read about it. Um, so just be aware of that. Now, finally, we get to the mulcher, which you have a cedar here as well. So you guys are probably wondering about that. I'll explain that here. The mulcher leaves this state along here. Um, it runs at 7 to 11 miles an hour. It does not add anything to the plowing state. It does not add a fertilizer state, but we know it does add a 5% yield bonus to the next crop on there. So that's kind of a fertilizer state, but not the same. Um, and it doesn't show up on the map per se either. Um, it does not bring up any stones. The advantages are plus 5% to fertilizer. Um, the disadvantages is... This does not prep the field for 
a crop to go on. I tested this with a regular seeder, so after you did this, you'd still either have to use one of those machines on that side, or you would have to come through with a direct drill seeder anyways, which might be worth it um, if you wanted to get that extra 5%, so depending on what you're growing and everything like that, but just be aware of that, so may not be worth it to you guys, but there you go. Anyhow, everyone, hopefully that answers some of your questions about field prep here. Um, that's just kind of a basic overview, a quick little test there. That's my first of many test videos that I'll do on various subjects in Farming Simulator 22. But anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like down below if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.